Uh, thank you very much for your introduction. <coughs> well, um, I'm talking about uh, visualization of healthcare. Well, uh, as, uh, as our self-introduction, our department has been focused on uh, quality of care uh, as well as uh, cost of care. And we have been focusing on the system of healthcare. In uh, our department, is called healthcare economics and quality management, not just health economics. And in our super aging society, uh, this is a kind of uh, dependency uh, ratio. And the ratio of aged population to the working population is very important. When our health insurance system was created and started, uh, the, this ratio was one versus nine. Nine people supported one elderly people, person. But now that ratio is 1.2, and it is approaching to 1.1. And uh, for financial sustainability of our health, uh, in, uh, our, our, of our health insurance system, uh, in, including our health, uh, universal health coverage, health insurance coverage, it is very uh, important. Uh, our, our, we are really in crisis, and we have to reform our healthcare system, including insurance system. And we have to manage to reform healthcare system safely, and we, have, we, we need a safe landing on a new healthcare system. And the management is very important in that process. And as Peter Dorka said, you can't manage what you can't measure. This means um, without visualization of quality or cost or access or equity, it is very, very difficult to change it into a, a new system. Uh, visualization is very important for our healthcare system. And uh, over 20 years, uh, our team has been uh, pioneering in uh, large-scale databases for health systems. Uh, we developed a multi-institutional uh, case mix classification databases and this uh, served as the uh, basis for a new DPC system of healthcare uh, in Japan. And we uh, also uh, proposed database design linking health and healthcare and long term care uh, databases. And uh, we, uh, we, we designed and proposed uh, various uh, large scale databases for all health systems. And now uh, we have been integrating these databases and uh, try to visualize uh, quality and the cost and access of healthcare at the institutional level and also regional levels. And for healthcare systems, uh, there are three important uh, dimensions uh, quality, efficiency or cost, and equity. And uh, and I'm going to show, uh, show you um, some examples of visualization and improvement in quality and the cost and equity. And based on this visualization, uh, we need to transform our healthcare system uh, for that transformation. Intersectoral collaboration is very important. I will talk about this later. And uh, about the visualization of quality, uh, this is a, a graph on crude and expected mortality of acute myocardial infarction in patients. And uh, you, as you can see, uh, among hospitals, there is a large variation in performance. And also, we can find 
uh, there's a large variation in risk profile according to hospitals. And uh, these kinds of uh, graphs are based on a prediction model, uh, a model to predict uh, uh, in-hospital mortality. And uh, these kinds of uh, research results had, had, uh, were pioneered in English-speaking uh, countries, like the United States or Canada or England. And, but now uh, our model's performance is uh, better uh, than them, and they, 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 they are astonished about our results, and they, uh, they, they are learning from our uh, new uh, models. And uh, for several <coughs> uh, disease areas, uh, like uh, acute ischemic stroke or pneumonia or acute heart failure, as well as AMI, uh, we can make this kind of uh, risk adjustment in outcome measures. And um, in the process, or th this is um, this shows the sensitivity and the sensitivity and the positive predictive value uh, to detect. Uh, Post-operative infection after uh, gas, uh, gastric, uh, gastric, uh, gastrectomy, and uh, uh, sometimes it is, oftentimes it is very difficult to detect uh, post-operative infection uh, because they, uh, because that kind of infection was not always registered. Uh, in the uh, registration system. And we made up the algorithm uh, to pick up uh, that kind of post-operative infection. And now uh, and we can compare hospitals from outside the hospitals. And uh, through visualization of quality indicators, uh, uh, we we can try to improve quality of care. And uh, we started this uh, benchmarking project uh, since 10 years ago, uh, no, 20 years ago, uh, with 10 hospitals. And now uh, over 1,500 hospitals join our program, and they send us uh, all the anonymous patient data uh, every month. And uh, during this uh, benchmarking system, we have been input to the uh, Ministry of Health and Welfare's uh, healthcare reform process. And this is one example of improvement. <coughs> and aspirin, uh, prescri aspirin prescription in AMI is one of uh, evidence-based uh, practice. But uh, a few years ago, it was not uh, prevalent in all hospitals. And uh, we asked the hospitals to publish uh, their names, uh, to think about publishing their names for each indicator. And half of the hospital participant hospitals agreed to disclose their name of the hospital linked to the indicators, and the other half uh, did not agree. And this is uh, <coughs> the first year. And uh, the next year, after they discussed uh, public disclosure, the, this, these indicators improved a lot dramatically, just in one year. And um, as you can see, uh, public disclosure is often linked with a higher quality indicator. And uh, through feedbacking these kind of uh, indicators, uh, they improved their practices 
uh, this is a kind of uh, this is a, a case of preoperative prophylactic antibiotics. Uh, we used to use uh, a lot, uh, long time antibiotics, but now it has been uh, reduced. There are a lot of uh, approaches for improvement. And for to, to improve to improve for improvement the cycle, uh, organizational culture of the institutions are very important, and we also found found we have also found uh, uh, organizational culture is positive, and this means uh, teamwork is very good, and the communication is good, and. Uh, people perceive they are professionally growing. And in that kind of institute, uh, quality, uh, quality indicator is higher than the other institutions. And then uh, I'm talking about some examples of uh, cost visualization. When uh, our case mix uh, classification system uh, starts. We often talked with the uh, government officials and persuaded to start with a, a costing project, per patient costing project. And we created a costing manual and I put it open in public domain and we gathered um, uh, cost cost information from various hospitals, and we compared, and we tried to uh, input these kinds of cost information uh, for uh, healthcare reimbursement fee schedule. And in that process, we also found in the, the profit uh, rate is very different, and equitably different uh, from among clinical disciplines. In some clinical disciplines, uh, revenue is very high and profit is very high. But in these areas, in these clinical disciplines, when they see many patients, for hosp then uh, the, for hospitals, uh, loss will be accumulated. And so um, we reported this result to the government, and the, uh, but the government is also uh, having difficult situations, and so uh, this, is still, this still continues. Uh, but there, there was uh, some chance to uh, improve these kinds of situations a little bit. And um, surgery fee has also a very strange uh, fee schedule. We also uh, showed uh, how these uh, surgeries uh, fee schedule is not based on uh, is not based on cost calculation. And we also proposed to the uh, government. Uh, in this, by these results. Well, um, as Dr. Otsubo said, um, quality of care is linked to resources. And for example, uh, this is risk adjusted mortality in acute heart failure. And when uh, hospitals with more specialists show the lower mortality and uh, Hospital with lower uh, lower number of cardiologists show the higher uh, mortality. And in various uh, studies, uh, also in our department, uh, showed uh, the staffing of specialists in hospitals are very important for quality of healthcare. And I will skip this. One and uh, and lastly, I'd like to comment on equity issues. 
Uh, Japanese people believe we are, we are relatively equal. Disparity is not so big. But uh, when we looked into the performance health care of each region, then uh, there is a, we, we, we found a great disparity among regions. This is one example. Uh, for uh, stroke, uh, ischemic stroke care, each dot represents a secondary medical region, uh, secondary medical areas. Japan is divided into 350 secondary medical areas. And th uh, this, is new, uh, this is Kansai Kinki area. And uh, when a patient uh, be becomes ischemic stroke and admitted to the hospital, and the proportion of early rehabilitation to get early rehabilitation differs like this, from 50% to 85%. And the uh, proportion to get uh, TPA administration wide, uh, va uh, varied widely. And this is a national level. <coughs> well, uh, this is the TPA administration in all the secondary medical regions in Japan. In some areas, they didn't get uh, TPA yet. And uh, when we looked into uh, smaller regions, uh, there are also uh, various uh, wide variation. For example, for ischemic stroke with uh, arterial fibrillation, given warfarin to prevent uh, re, uh, uh, to, to for prevention of ischemic stroke, there are wide variation among regions. In some areas, uh, warfarin are given, but, are not, but other areas are not. And uh, when we looked into uh, se uh, several indicators across regions, we can find a uh, wide variation. And often this is linked to uh, uh, healthcare resources. And in Kyoto, uh, in collaboration with uh, the prefectural government, uh, we visualized the uh, healthcare delivery system, and uh, we talked about the need of a center or a hub, hub of the system, and uh, they created uh, okay uh, internationally centralization and networking. Uh, we uh, one has a model of hub and spoke. And with a limited resource amount, this kind kind of centralization and networking is effective to improve both uh, quality and efficiency. And uh, they, from the scattered model to the hub uh, hub and spoke model, and uh, they created uh, one center in one region. And after setting the up, up uh, the uh, AMI mortality improved a lot in that case. And we also uh, did simulation of the effect of uh, simulation uh, effect of uh, making a hub in the ne network. Okay, I will skip this. And the uh, regional disparity in quality of care is substantial. And for each major disease area, for MI or stroke or cancers, we should redesign system based on the data and to implement centralization and network. And then uh, with, uh, with, with the data, with only with the data, 
uh, nothing happens. We need to transform the system. And for that task, uh, we need inter-sectoral collaboration. Uh, we call this uh, we call this a social joint venture. Uh, in Japan, healthcare system is not the national system, and nobody has the authority to realize the regional healthcare plans. We make the healthcare plans every five years in each prefecture, uh, but a prefecture doesn't have the enough power to realize that plan, and nobody has that uh, power in our system. And local government can only control number of beds and subsidies. And it's not like a company. There is no president or no CEO of the healthcare system. And in this situation, uh, we need a scheme of joint business of all stakeholders. And not only the government and healthcare providers, but also citizens, insurers, uh, healthcare industries, academia, and social entrepreneurs should share and discuss the current real situations and the future and constructively achieve their own, their own unique role and mission towards the common goal. We should share the information and we should share the common goal. And there are some examples. For, for example, a specialty physician's reallocation is not based only on uh, professional societies. Uh, we need um, a local government efforts too. And uh, sometimes uh, industries, uh, technologies helps uh, physician reallocation. And uh, we, sh we should use ICT uh, uh, information communication technology uh, to improve the access to healthcare and uh, em empowerment of citizens is also very important to empower healthcare system. Uh, for example, <coughs> uh, this is a this stroke education tool is developed by national. Cerebral Cardiovascular Center. Uh, and this is uh, to detect uh, stroke as early as possible and call an ambulance to go to the hospital. And this kind of uh, good tool is not uh, effectively used yet, diffused yet. And uh, another example is uh, dementia supporter. Dementia, uh, in Japan, we have a dementia supporter caravan uh, system. And this teaches people how to live with a dementia, uh, dementia uh, person. And uh, there are uh, textbooks for pupils, students, and enter enterprises, and banks, and residents across generations, industries, and communities. And this kind of movement is, uh, has been very uh, effective. And if you, you become a Dimitri supporter, you can, you can get an uh, orange ring. And this movement is very famous worldly, and the uh, and UK adopted this system, and this, they, they call this uh, Dimitri Friends. In Japan, we call it dementia supporter. Well, uh, in the era of super aging and financial constraint, uh, we should have the stronger plan to sustain healthcare system. And also, we have to fight against the regional disparity in quality and access. Uh, we should visualize performance uh, using data and launch social joint venturing with all stakeholders collaboratively achieving their active roles by sharing information and sharing common goal to reconstruct the healthcare system. 
of high quality efficiency and equity. Thank you very much. <laughs>